You're good. Hi everyone. I am here with the lovely Kaylee. And today we are gonna be talking all about hair hacks and simple tricks you can do to make your style last, maybe make it a little bit faster for you. Um, yeah, so first thing we're gonna do, I think for Kaylee's hair, is start out with a nice uh, summer braided ponytail. So what I'm gonna do What I'm gonna do first is grab my ponytail piece and make sure that it at least blends with like the lightest piece of her hair. So you can see, even though it doesn't match here, because she's got this lovely um, ombre, as long as it blends enough with the ends, then you're good to put the ponytail piece in. So this is gonna be your first hack. If you can use any kind of clip-in, hair accessory, ponytail, anything like that, it's going to make your style last longer, it's going to be faster, and it's going to definitely um, expedite, expedite anything that you are doing. So you could prep this before you started the style. Um, yeah, so we are going to do a pony, braided pony. So first thing we're going to do is determine where we're going to part her. We're gonna be doing a lot of looks on Kaylee today, so I'm gonna show you some product tips and usage, but I'm not gonna be putting a ton on her because I don't wanna mess her up for later on down the road. So we're gonna get this into a center part, which believe it or not is always the hardest part. <laughs> I think we could leave out just a little bit of fringe for her there. So before I start any style to get through it faster, I always kind of map out where I'm going, brush your hair, kind of see where it's going to lie so that I'm not fighting myself later. Once I get this all done and up, I'll show you guys a little hair hack to add a little volume in her fringe area using one of my favorite Unite products that I feel like don't get used, doesn't get used too often. Okay, so since we're going to be putting her hair up, we're gonna start with the expand -a volume and we're just gonna go through and put this all in her root area. This is gonna make the hair a little bit more pliable, the brush whatever direction I want it to go and also I don't have to worry about it messing up my looks later because this will be a great volumizing tool and when it blow dries into her hair it's going to add volume. So we're going to kind of just like smudge that all in there and then I'm going to have Kaylee hold the elastic for me. I'm going to turn her sideways. And I always kind of turn a client sideways so that I can see kind of what it's doing to her profile, like how high up do we want to go. Another hack when doing ponytails is if you keep your hand open, you can just kind of brush the hair back into your hand and then you can move around where you need to. I'm basically just trying to get this up as smooth as possible so that I can add um, the hair piece. Now, Kaylee does have enough hair. If I didn't want to add the hair piece, I could do it without it, but it wouldn't be as thick or as long. And I 
kind of just want this pony to look like it's loose, not super slicked back. So we're letting that top kind of bubble. You can sort of see there. And that product is just giving it a little bit of grip. It's been really hot here. So definitely up styles are, have been big, at least in my salon, where it's been triple digits the last few weeks. So there we go, that was just a quick get her up in a ponytail. Another little hack is you could take your tail comb, and like I said, I want this to be kind of bumpy. I'm not trying to get any perfectly smooth ponytail, but you can just sort of stick it in um, and pull the little bumps back. It's gonna be real forgiving once we put the ponytail piece in. So now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So this is definitely a time-saving hack versus taking her whole hair down and starting over. And then if you weren't super happy with that, you could also just pinch and pull a little bit. Getting it where you want it. And then I don't like how that's not lining up there, so I'm gonna go from that point. And same thing, I'm just sticking the tail comb in. And I'm gonna go all the way to the elastic holding it down, and then I can pull out whatever hair I want. And then that kind of made a mess, so we're gonna just tweak that real quick. So I probably could have alleviated that just by checking that before I put the elastic in. There we go. And then again, we're just going to check the side, make sure that we like where that pony is, which I do. And now we're going to add the hair piece. Um, can we see if there's a smooth and shine? Yeah. I think you might. Okay, so this is a ponytail piece. There's like a little clip if you've never seen one of these and then a wrapping hair. Um, that, go, that will hide your elastic at the end. Thank you. I like to go in with uh, Smooth and Shine. This is going to smooth away all the flyaway pieces. Also make it a little easier for me when I'm braiding it. So I'm just kind of putting that all over the ponytail. And turn it this way just so you can see what I'm doing. And then with the leftover product, that's on my hands, I'm gonna do the same thing on the ponytail, just, you can see how it just shines it up. I already prepped this hair with the um, You Dry Fresh. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the clip. I don't know where, is this? That's good. Tip your head forward. You can see me? Yeah. So this goes down and into the ponytail. And this is like on a Velcro piece. So I'm gonna lift the whole thing up because now you're gonna take that little tail piece and that's what's gonna pull it tight and around for you. And then 
the Velcro will attach. So that her ponytail is secure. Okay, so once we have that done, I'm gonna clip this out of the way so I can show you the next hack. If you have one of these guys, this is gonna help you pull the hair through to cover the elastic. So you just pinch it and slide it through that hair that you already wrapped around. Take your head back just a little bit. So it's gonna basically be like that. So this is another hair hack for hiding elastic so that you don't have to um, use a bunch of bobby pins. So then we're gonna go through and just pinch and pull that piece through and then through the elastic like that and then we can tighten and then we're going to add that underneath into our braided pony okay so i'm going to go through and just tweak some of this like i said we're intentionally leaving it a little messy I'm going to take a bunch of clear elastics. I'm going to have her hold those for me. And I can already see it's a little getting a little flyaways again. So I'm just going to smooth this out. Make sure I've got that tail in there. Okay, so for a braided ponytail, we could just do a braid and waffle it out. But the hair hack is if you use elastics, it's gonna help the style last. You're not gonna have any hairs flying out. And also, if you don't know how to braid, this is like an easier way not to braid, to make it look like a braid without actually braiding it. So I made sure I split her natural so it's all mixed in with the, the artificial pony. Okay, so divide it in two. Make sure it's really smooth. Now you're gonna divide that into two. And then take this one up and add your way. Take an elastic. And you're just gonna join those two ponytails together. Just like that. Then you're gonna let this one go. And then same thing, you're going to divide that in two. I still have product on my hands, so that's going to help smooth any of these flyaways. So I'm going underneath it. Like that. And then I'm attaching it. So you can attach these elastics wherever you want right now. You're just not doing it super tight so that later if I wanna fluff the braid out, I can. And I like how her natural hair is now mixing with the artificial hair so it's more of a true color match. A couple comments here. Okay. Someone got a haircut. Someone got a haircut! And a fresh manicure. <laughs> the manicure is probably better from far away, but I did get a fresh haircut. Now we're going to attach that out of the way. Ooh. 
We basically are going to just follow the same technique all the way down. We're going to be doing a how-to version of this hairstyle later on today, so that'll be up at some point on um, Unite TV. It'll be a more perfect version of it, but this way you can kind of get the idea of how, how you get through a look like this. So again, just dividing into back and around. It gets a little easier as you get to the bottom. There's, you could just, you know, the ponytail's not as long. So this technique is also really good because um, anybody who has layers or like here, I'm mixing her own hair with the artificial ponytail. The elastic is going to hold it into place where if I was just braiding, you'd have all those pieces sticking out. And obviously the product is helping with that too. So will you be going to New York for fashion? Yes, I am. <clears throat> Are you looking forward to it? I am. Are you asking or is somebody asking? Gary Baker hair is asking. <laughs> Gary, I'm going. Who else is going? That's what I want to know. I think we've got a, a big class this year. A lot, a lot of the, a lot of people signed up. I am so excited. Okay, In so fact, our, our uh, Carlsbad Runway Ready class is next weekend. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if you're thinking about going, you really should just get on it and go already. It's going to be so much fun. If not this time, the next time or whatever. I think I have four or five girls at, from my salon that are going next time around. So I'm excited about that too. For February? Um, they're deciding between February and September. I think mostly, well, everybody's trying for February, but then they'll be hooked and probably go back. <laughs> yeah, I mean, how many times have you gone at this point? A lot. <laughs> You in Miami this year. I know. I heard it was really hot. It was. It was cool about the different venue. And, yeah. yeah. Okay, so I can see that that is going to be an issue. So I'm going to just add another elastic. This it would be an exact example of a style we would do in Miami. And like I said, the the hack part of this is that you're using elastics to do the braid. So it's gonna stay, like have more longevity. And especially in Miami with the heat and humidity. And also I think something that people don't realize about working fashion shows is you don't always have like Kaylee's type hair, you know? Could be curly hair, could be frizzy hair. And you have to make all the styles um, look as, is the word matching? I don't know. Yeah, as if like one person worked on it. Yeah, this right. Stuff, yeah. Okay, so now that I'm at the bottom, I'm gonna do one more. Like I said, we'll do a much more polished version of this for a how-to video later, but for a live, just to kind of get the technique going. You could start this braid anywhere on her head you wanted to. You could do it way up high, Barbie ponytail. You could do it really low, more like a fashion ponytail. And then now we're just gonna marry those two pieces together at the bottom. And then you can see um, that's where all the elastics are. Oh. They kind of lay underneath there, but they're so see-through you wouldn't see them. And then from the front, you can't tell they're there at all. And then it's just a matter of preference for how, um, how like waffled out you want it to be. You could also, you know, do something really more fashion forward, you know, and attach something there. I mean, I could see that something more in New York. And would that be pins that go? Like um, if I was going to attach this, yeah. I would do, uh, I'll show you.
So you could use a bungee or you can just use this, an elastic with two bobby pins on it. And basically anytime I want to add volume or I want something to stay, you just can use this. So you don't need to open the pins up. You just jam that in there. And then you come around on the other side. Can you see me okay? Yeah. And then that goes in and down. Oh. Another little hair hack. So if we wanted this to be more of like a mohawk back here, you could do more. And then you could tuck that in. So a hundred different ways to cheat a style um, with almost no bobby pins, right? If I was going to waffle this out bigger, which I on her hair I really don't think we need to do, but expanded dust is your best friend for that. You just um, dust it on top and then you can pinch and pull the pieces out and it'll help keep all that hair in. I like how that made that blend a little better there. And then you can kind of see depending on where you put that cording, you could add, I mean she could go really high if she wanted to, like we could go. Like that. Now, obviously, if we were doing this for a show, we'd probably use cording. Not only would it be good visually, because you would have, you know, black there or leather or whatever, but um, it would hold better. Yeah, so you could do whatever you wanted with that. Okay, so that's our first kind of little hair hack. I'm going to show the elastic thing one more time down here. So how I hid that up there, I'll show you how to hide this elastic down here using a, two hairpins versus that looping tool. There's no official name on that tool, huh? I was trying to find how people could find it. Um, okay, so I got it on, I think it's called Kish. I know they have it on... Um, it's probably called a pull-through tool. Yeah, it says hair tail tool. There you go. For styling. There's a whole bunch of, of them on Amazon. There you go. Okay, so if you don't have one of those tools, those tools are great when you're pulling a large um, piece of hair through because you can see a bobby pin has like not as much space to put the hair through. But for down here, it would be harder using that tool. So basically this just goes through underneath the elastic with the loop part at the top. And then I like finding pins that don't have the balls on the end and that are a little bit longer so you can kind of weave it through a little easier. So then you just grab a little hair, wrap it around. And then, I don't know if you can see. See here. Yeah. Okay, so I have the end of the hair pinched in the pen. It's like a needle and thread. I'm just going through that. So you can see it's right. Yep. And then you just pull that through. You find your little tail and you just tighten it up. And then if you get, like I just waffled that a little bit, so you can see now you can see the elastic. It's no problem, you can just tighten the one below it. I kind of like this though, that was fun. Okay. All right, so let me show you a little hack on um, the fringe piece. I've had a lot of people tell me that like the center part's going away, so you see I have my side part. Um, so little hacks that, you, that I do uh, with Unite products to make it so that you can wear your hair either way. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get her hair a little wet. So I'm gonna just go in with the seven second spray. I'm gonna do my best, Astrid, not to mess up your beautiful makeup. Okay. <laughs> 
it's brand new. So. Oh. Okay, so we're just gonna saturate that. There we go. Luna Beauty dot ones waving hello. Hi. Okay, so creamy paste. So this is made to add um, volume and pieciness and texture to mostly short hair. So there's Boosta Cream that comes in the bigger container. That would be for like um, shoulder length hair and longer. This is typically used on um, shoulder length and shorter, but I love it for fringe. So this is my hair hack because I know a lot of people don't even know where to begin with this stuff. So you're just gonna take a little bit of product out of the pack. It's really creamy, just like the name says, so it's not like Conundrum or one of those where you're really having to dig in. So I'm rubbing it almost all the way in my hands and then just saturating her hair with it. Even if I blew out her hair in the salon, like used all the other products, I still put a little bit of this in the fringe. That is my secret hair hack. All the way through. Okay, so if you truly want to have a fringe that has volume and can go either way, then you have to dry it without a part. So the best way to do that is you just go back to your old principles, right? So over directing. So if I'm wanting it to come back, I'm going to dry it forward so then it kicks back, you know, the other way. If I knew I was going to go like with a super high side part, I could kind of like gear my blow drying that way so then it flips over the other way. So, I'm going to turn on the blow dryer, but let me do it once without heat, without it on so you can kind of see, we'll just pretend. So I always start under, but I'm not lifting it all the way up, right? She's staying down here. And then this would be the technique, right? So I'm just drying the roots. Can we turn ah. her uh, the other way? Yeah. And then we'll take a small step. Uh, yeah, that, that'll be, should be easier to okay. see. Okay. So the brush underneath right blow dryer on top always blow drying the hair the direction you want it to go because you don't want to make it all flyaways mainly concentrating on the roots then once you get that done you go over top of it and you go down there same thing though going along you know with the roots not against the follicle basically. not against the follicle that is like I guess one big thing that you don't realize you're doing in the salon and then you go to do hair at like a shoot or a you know runway show or anything like that, if you're doing this motion against the grain of the hair, it's just going to make it all fly away. And then you wonder why you're having to use hairspray and flat irons and all that kind of stuff. So um, I think like if you're going to Fashion Week and you've never been, like that is a big tip is just to brush up on your basics. like. Um, roller placement is the same thing I'm saying with this brush like if I was going to curl her with a curling iron you know same thing I'm going off the base so that it'll give you a little bit more height okay so I'm gonna turn this on so starting underneath I wanted to use a velcro roller or if this was a velcro roller that is exactly where that would stay and we would let that cool while she got her makeup done or whatever else um, so now we're going to just pull this off so you guys can see 
So if we wanted to go back in the center part, I mean, so much more volume. Like if we're gonna take an Instagram picture, right? Like this is that whole pinch and pull thing. You've got that down with no effort at all. If she wanted to go over to one side, you can. If she wanted to flip it the other way, you can. So, I mean, if you have bangs or, or <laughs> wear like, sort of like that curtain bang sort of look and you're not using creamy paste, you're really missing the boat. So good. That's so pretty. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, three hair hacks we just did. We learned how to um, cover elastic, how to add volume and separation in the bangs, how to make a bungee to add a little bit of style to an updo, and then how to do a braided pony that's going to last. Um, yeah. How are we on time, Mike? We're great. We're great. We can uh, move right into the how to's. If, uh... Okay, so, so stay tuned on this because, like I said, I'll do a really polished version of this that's going to knock your socks off for the how to's. We're going to take this down and I'll make sure it's centered and <laughs> all of those good things. But um, yeah, so is that what I'm saying? That's our next live. Yeah, so I just want to let everybody know and then uh, that our next live will be Monday on the 14th. Okay, so our next live is Monday on the 14th. It's gonna be the first look into uh, Runway Ready Carlsbad. So I'm assuming Gary's teaching that. Well, at the class? academy right okay. here, yeah. So yeah. We'll, we'll have Gary and our attendees, and we'll go live. And uh, uh, you know, I'm not sure what Gary has on the docket for that, but it should be a good experience to cool. give people like an inside look at what happens during the class. Um, and and that class is kind of different than like doing it in Miami and doing it in New right. York, obviously, because you're not going right into the runway show after that. So, right. Uh, but all of that gets accredited toward going to the runway shows. So I've taken that class here at the academy. I think twice my first two times and I, I mean you learn so much stuff like the basics and then you like you said you have the time to go practice those techniques so that life should be really fun and then you'll get to see who's coming backstage well at least some of the people and if you're interested in signing up for any of those classes uh <laughs> Garrett says it'll be normal me screaming and throwing <laughs> <brothers>. <laughs> uh, if you do want to sign up for those classes feel free to dm us uh, um, right here on the united Hair tv account and also you can email class requests at unitehair.com uh, for more information about how having to sign up. Stacy says that sounds about right, Gary. <laughs> uh, so yeah, well, thanks everybody for joining us, and of yeah, course, thank you to, to our stars of the show here. So we'll see you on the next one. Okay.